Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you guys again. Well, guess what? Today I got to talk to you about something. Something that's got me just a little bit heated up. Not in a bad way though. Today I'm going to talk about the Wave 3 heater. That's right. Today I'm going to go through this entire product with you and we're going to decide whether or not this is actually worth your hard earned money. I feel that it's extremely important that I actually bring this information to you. And first of all, let's just get off to a real quick start by saying I'm not being paid. This is not a paid promotion. This is my own personal feelings about this product. I've used this product for the last six months and I can't remember a colder winter than this last year. I mean, this last winter was like so cold. So anyway, let's get down to the specs on this baby and I'm gonna show you how to use it. It's super simple to use. And now I'm gonna give you my honest true review. The nice part about it is I'm not being paid to say this. So I can tell you the gosh honest truth about whether or not you actually should look at investing in this product. Get right to it it won't take very long because this is a super simple easy product to be able to use so let's get right to it so let's go All right, the way that I have my Wave 3 heater hooked up is my propane hose leads back to my propane tank, which is underneath my counter. If you watched any of my other videos, you'll see where my propane tank is. Anyway, I have it coming out here and I have an elbow put in right here. And obviously I have the Wave 3 heater cover. This is really important because you wanna keep this thing covered up because you don't want dust and dirt getting on that catalytic sheet. That will definitely impede its performance. So basically all I do is when I go to use it, I take the cover off of it just like that. And then over here, here, I have a separate board. I have it mounted to a separate board and I have a latch hook. So when I need to use it, I take it, I unlatch it, I swing it out, and then I put something underneath there so that way it holds it, so that way it pushes the heat into the van. Now, the important thing here is, is that you keep a three foot distance in front of this heater. Uh, that's what the recommended specs are. So let's go ahead and jump inside. We're gonna light this baby up. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna give you my honest, absolute review on this product as to whether or not it's worth you spending your hard earned money to buy this thing. All right, with the Wave 3 here, okay, over here where you have your connection, you always want to make sure that you don't have any leaks. And usually what I'll do is I'll take a towel and I'll throw it down here like this. And I've already turned on my propane tank. And I'll take a bottle like this with some soap and water in it. And I'll just spray that area real quick and look for any bubbling that might happen. And that'll be an indicator as to whether or not you have any propane leaks there. It'll start bubbling up. I mean, you will not be able to miss it. It will bubble up and let you know that you have a problem and you need to tighten those fittings. And that's just a good safety precaution right there. Okay, lighting and igniting the Wave 3 heater is super, super simple. Over here on the side of your Wave 3 heater, you have your knob and you have your start off, you have your medium heat and you have your high heat. And then over here on the other side, you have your ignition switch. Okay, so to be able to go ahead and light your Wave 3 heater, this is exactly how simple it is to light it. You take this button over here and it's set to the start off position and you press that in and you hold it for 10 seconds. And then what you're gonna wanna do over here, you're gonna wanna push your automatic start button. And then there should be a pilot light that lights. And we have a pilot light. And then after that, you wanna keep the button on the right hand side, this button right here, you wanna keep that press 45 to 60 seconds after you ignite the pilot light. And then after you've held that for 45 to 60 seconds, what you're gonna wanna do is release it and turn it all the way to high. And whoa, there we go. Let me see if I can get this covered up so that way you can see what's going on here. It don't get any easier than that. This thing lights up every single solitary time. I've been using it for six months. And as you can see, it's starting to glow red. Oh yeah, and I can feel the heat. Oh, the heat feels so good. Oh, cause it's a little chilly today. All right, Wave 3 heater, when it comes to usability, super, super simple. I mean, just, I mean, you can't ask for a simpler product to use. Now, okay, let's talk a little bit about the Wave 3 heater. One of the biggest things that you always hear when you're looking at, I mean, as far as putting in a heat source in your van is moisture. Okay, using a propane heater is gonna put out a little bit of 
moisture. Now, with the Wave 3 heater, I've been using this for the last six months, and I mean, it has been freaking cold here. I mean, at certain points, you got 25 plus below zero here, and this Wave 3 heater came through like a champ. Now, back to what I was talking about moisture. Moisture is a big issue, whether it's in your van or it's in your RV. With the Wave 3 heater, I will tell you, for where I'm at, I had no moisture problems. I had no moisture condensation. I never, ever, at any single solitary point, was disappointed with this product. The Wave 3 heater is an absolute must. I don't know of another product that even can compare to the Wave 3 heater. Yes, it's going to cost you a little bit more, but let me tell you what, on the overall, it's not going to be quite that expensive because the amount of propane that this thing uses is it just like, it only sips the propane compared to some of the other ones that are out there on the market that drink propane like it's going out of style. The Wave 3 heater, in my personal opinion, I give two thumbs up. This baby rocks. I can't say enough good things about this product. The only problem I can tell you that it has, if you consider it a problem, is, is that it doesn't give instantaneous heat. So if you're looking to warm up, say, your van or your RV, like right now, like with a forest air heater, you're not going to have that. You're going to have heat. You're going to have instant heat, but it's going to take a little bit for it to warm up the area. For the van, a Wave 3 heater, <laughs> that's enough. You don't need any more. That is plenty of heat. <laughs> That's it. You, you don't need any more heat than the Wave 3 heater in your van. I'll leave a link down below for this product. You can go check it out. That's my honest opinion. That's my honest review. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video today. I hope this has helped you in some way, shape, or form in trying to decide what heat source you should put into your van. And the Wave 3 heater, by far, without a doubt, the heater you want to buy. It's worth every last penny you pay for it. Okay, that concludes my review of the Wave 3 heater. Don't contemplate it anymore. If you're looking for a heat source for your van, the Wave 3 heater, that's the way to go, bar none. That's my final opinion. That's my final review. Say, I just want to tell you all, thank you so much once again for hanging out with me today. It's been truly my pleasure to be able to bring this video to you. If you have any comments or you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down below in the info section. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button down here in the corner. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button give me that thumbs up that lets youtube's algorithm know that there is something happening on this video and that really does help out my channel a lot and i really truly greatly appreciate that and don't forget to hit that little bell up top because that'll notify you each and every time i release a video and i have so many great videos that are coming you don't want to miss one so you want to stay tuned all right i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna end this little video here today thank you so much for taking your time to spend with me i really truly appreciate it and until I see you all again, later.